What's going on everybody, Kalipas Tech here coming back at you with another video. In this video, I'm going to be giving you some beginner tips and tricks for the Boost Mobile Celero 5G Plus to help you get more familiar with the device. Now as always, if you do end up wanting to learn more about this phone, be sure to check out the description where I am linking to several other videos about it, as well as some information about pricing, availability, and some of my favorite smartphone accessories. But with that being said, let's get into it. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to change your wallpaper. To do this, go to settings. Then from here, go to wallpaper and style. So right here. From here, go to change wallpaper. And from here, you can choose between your photos or on device wallpapers. So we're gonna go here. This is gonna give you a preview of what it's gonna look like. So home screen, lock screen. From here, hit the check mark. You can choose home screen, lock screen, or both. And that's pretty much it. So as you can see, the wallpaper has been changed, so we're good to go. Now that was easy enough, but now I'm gonna show you an even faster way to change your wallpaper and customize some other home screen settings. So for this, what you're gonna do is press and hold your finger on any blank spot on the home screen. So like this, and this is gonna show up. From here, you can change your wallpaper, add and remove widgets, and access some additional home screen settings. Now we're gonna take a quick look at the sound menu. To get to this, press either volume key, hit these dots, and from here, go to settings. So now we're in the main sound menu. Up top, we got a few different volumes. So media volume, so if you're listening to music, watching a video, something like that. Call volume, so the earpiece when you're talking on the phone. Ring and notification volume. And then finally, alarm volume. So pretty simple there. Under this, we got do not disturb, which you can access it from this menu, but an easier way to turn it on or off is simply by swiping down from the top of your screen. And keep in mind, you can do this from anywhere. So like this, and do not disturb is gonna be in this menu. So right here. Under this, we got the phone ringtone, so if we go here, we get a default sound, lots of different presets. And all the way at the bottom, you can also add your own ringtone. Then from here, you can go to vibrate for calls. So by default, unless you're on vibrate mode, the phone is never going to vibrate. But if you want it to vibrate and make sound, you can have it do that. Under this, we got the notification sound, alarm sound, so pretty much just like the ringtone. And then finally, we got a few system sounds. So by default, dial pad tones, screen locking sounds, charging sounds and vibrations, touch sounds, and touch vibration. All of this is gonna be on, but of course you can configure these however you want. The next thing I'm gonna show you is how to change your screen time out time. To do this, go to settings. Then from here, go to display. And from here, as you can see, screen time out is right here. And with this, you can set it as short as 15 seconds or as long as 30 minutes. Now, I personally don't recommend having it super long. I personally only have it like this for these videos. But if you're doing something like maybe reading, for example, where you might want your screen to stay on a bit longer, then of course you might want to set it this long. But keep in mind, if you're not going to be actively using your display a lot, having a longer screen timeout time could cause you to forget to lock it and then it will drain the battery quite a bit. So definitely play around with it and see which time works best for you. Now I'm going to show you how to control which apps can send you notifications. Definitely something you're probably going to want to know about when you first get this phone because of course, the more apps you get, the more notifications you're probably going to get. Most apps usually just turn them on by default. And while some notifications can definitely be useful, others not so much. So having your notifications under control can definitely be a nice thing. So to manage your notifications, what you're going to do is go to settings. Then from here, go to notifications. Then from here, go to app settings. Now by default, it's going to show you the most recent. But if you want to see everything, hit this drop down. Go to all apps. And as you can see, this is going to show you all the apps on your phone. So if you download a new app, but maybe you want to turn off the notifications right away, you can always go here. And of course, to turn them off, all you have to do is toggle it off, and that's pretty much it. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to edit your quick menu. Now, in case you don't know, to get to your quick menu, swipe down from the top of the screen like this. So one, two, and this is the quick menu. So definitely a nice thing to have. It gives you access to a bunch of different features, and you can actually change what's on here. To do this, hit the pencil icon. Up top, you're going to see what's on the menu. And below this line, this is everything you can add. To remove something, press and hold. Drag it to the other side. And then to add something, pretty much do the same thing. So there we go. And now all you have to do is go back. And it's going to change right away. So as you can see, I added dark mode. And then if you ever want to reset it, go back to the edit screen. So again, hit the pencil icon. From here, hit these dots. Hit reset. And that's pretty much it. Now I'm going to show you a couple different ways to actually turn off the phone. Now with this phone and honestly most Android phones nowadays, by default, the power key is honestly not really a power key anymore because if you press and hold it, instead of actually opening your power menu, it's going to open the assistant instead. 
So honestly, kind of an annoying feature. I feel like nobody I've ever met actually likes it like this, and honestly, it doesn't really make sense, since after all, you can already open the assistant by pressing and holding your home key. So really, do we need another shortcut for it? I personally don't think so. But in case you're trying to turn off your phone, there are a couple different ways to do it. First of all, you can access the quick menu by, again, swiping down from the top like this. So one, two, and the power menu is gonna be right here in the middle. Tap on this icon, and there we go. And in addition to this, if you press the power key and the volume up key at the same time, so like this, this is also gonna open the power menu. Now I'm going to show you how to use dark mode. Now the quick way to do it we already kind of went over but I'll show you again just in case. Like you may have seen before, you can actually add dark mode to the quick menu. So if we go like this, open the quick menu, from here, hit the pencil icon one more time, and dark mode is going to be right here. So press and hold, drag it up here, go back. And now as you can see, dark mode is right here, so you can turn it on and off quickly from here. Definitely nice and convenient. So as you can see, we are now in dark mode. And in addition to this, you can also schedule dark mode to turn on and off automatically. To do this, go to settings. From here, go to display. Then from here, go to where it says dark theme. As you can see, you can also toggle it on and off from here, but if you have it in the quick menu already, there's really no point. But if you do want to schedule it, go here. And as you can see, the schedule is right here, so by default, of course, it is going to be off. But you can have it turn on from sunset to sunrise, or set a custom time. Now I'm going to show you how to take a screenshot with the Boost Mobile Celero 5G+. Plus. Definitely a real easy feature. So what you're going to do is press the power key and the volume down key at the same time. And keep in mind you don't actually have to hold the buttons, just press them real quick. So like this. There we go. You can share it, edit it, whatever you want to do. And that's pretty much it. In addition to this, if you happen to be on your recent apps and you want to take a screenshot of whatever app you're using, you can go like this. As you can see, there's a screenshot button right here. Press it, and that's going to do pretty much the same thing. And then finally, the last thing I'm going to show you is how to change your screen lock. Now by default, like pretty much any Android phone, the screen lock is a pin, and I personally use the fingerprint scanner too. But to get to your screen lock settings, first, go to your main settings menu. From here, go to security. So right here. Then from here, go to screen lock, enter your current pin, and from here, you can choose between none, swipe, pattern, pin, or password. None and swipe are basically no security. The only difference between the two is that with none, you don't even get any kind of lock screen, whereas with swipe, there's at least some kind of screensaver. Pattern, you can kind of see it right here. Pin is the standard, and then of course, if you want really high security, you can always set a password. In addition to this, if we go back, Right under screen lock, we get the fingerprint section. So if we go here, enter your current pin, and then here you can add fingerprints. But this concludes my beginner's guide to the Boost Mobile Celero 5G+. Plus. Again, if you want to learn more about this phone, definitely check out the description, where I am linking to several other videos about it, as well as some information about pricing, availability, and some of my favorite smartphone accessories. But that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow Kalipas Tech on Twitter and Instagram. And as always, I will see you in the next video.